We are going to continue with operations with vectors and we are going to look at the second part of subtraction of vectors. You will find this on page 585 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at Trinal 22. OABC is a parallelogram where OA is A and OB is B. Express the following vectors in terms of A and B. Okay, so remember, because this is a parallelogram, I can go and say if this is A, this BC will be equal to OA, so this will also be A. And if this is B, OB will be equal to AC, and that will also be B. Okay, so if I'm asking you, find BC, BC, I'm going to say, remember, BC, BC is equal to OA, so that's just A. And then OC, let's just see, OC. Now, remember, find a root that starts at O and ends at C. It can be longer. Remember, if you start at the same point, and you end at the same point, the vector movements are equal. So if do you agree that I can do, and let's just take a color, that I can say OB plus BC, that will be equal to OC. Do you agree? Okay, let's just get that pen correct. So basically, and it's good always to write the roots down. So OC will be equal to OB plus BC. And now you can just substitute it with B plus A and that's your final answer. Okay, and then BA, let's just clean this again. So if I'm, and don't forget, let's just write this in again. Okay, so BA, let's just see, BA, do you see? Can I show you again? This is my one. Okay, but I must find one with information on. So I can say BC plus CA. Do you agree? So BA, or I can say, as I did there, I can say BO plus OA. It will be exactly the same. The only thing is BO, do you see the, the arrow was in this direction? So if I change the direction of the arrow, it's going to be negative B, okay? So in this case also, if I change the arrow, negative B. So this one will be negative B plus A or A minus B. It's the same. And this was also A minus B. So it doesn't matter if I say BO plus OA or if I say BC plus CA. Okay, and the final one, AB, and I think it's best that I clean everything again. So, AB, and now let's just take, oh, sorry, I'm just going to take a ruler. AB. So, in this case, it's going to be AB, so it's going to be BC plus CA, okay, or I can even say AO plus OB. But it seems to me I was saying AC, do you agree? AC plus CB. Oh, I see. I said it incorrectly previously. I took it as BA. So can I just rephrase this? If it's AB, it's either AC plus CB or AO plus OB. Okay, so in this case I took AC plus CB. Now AC is correct, but if I take CB, I reverse, and that is, let me just do that better, that is going to be negative A. So it's B minus A, but that's the final answer. Okay, I want you to do stop the video and do try now 22. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. But let's start. OPQR is a parallelogram. That's very important because that means this vectors are equal, this vectors are equal. Where OP is P, 
O R is R. Express the vectors in terms of P and R. It's almost exactly the same. But let's just do it and let's just write it down nicely because it always helps you with steps to come. So if I'm asking you R Q, okay, let's just find uh, R Q, O. But I can see that R Q will be equal to O P. OP and that will be equal to P. Okay, and then the next one, let's just see, number B. Then it's OQ. Okay, and now in this case, OQ. Now this is the root. So uh, the, the longer one will be, and it can be either this way around or that way. But let's rather go O, O or plus RQ. Oh, let's just get that sign correct. Plus RQ. Okay, so OR is going to be R plus RQ and that's going to be P. And that's my final answer. Okay, and then number, number C. Okay, let's just take another color. Okay, this is number 22, so number C. So if I look at number C, this is PQ. Okay, let's look at the root again. PQ, oh, can you see? So QR is going to be R, and that's going to be equal to PQ. So that's going to be PQ is equal to QR, and that's just equal to R. Easy as that. Okay. And then the next one, it's number D, and that's QR. Okay, QR. So if this is positive, then this is going to be negative. The, the direction change, and if the direction change, what did we say? We just put the negative in front. So that's negative P. And then the final one, let's just take it in, number E. And the final one is PR. Okay, and let's just look. PR. So PR, you can either go this way around or you can go this way around. So that's going to be PQ plus QR. And that's going to be PQ. So remember, if this is R, then this one is also going to be R. So it's going to be R plus Q. QR, and that's the nice thing. Now I can look up. Can you see this QR? And what is QR? That's negative P. So actually, it's just going to be R minus P. And that's the final answer. So always first write down the root and then do the substitution. Because that always helps you if you want to look up, then it can assist you in that answer.